All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get into the show. My first guest tonight is the star of the hit series, The Nanny. It's always a pleasure to have her with us on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fran Drescher. <laughs> Them guys. <laughs> oh, this audience is happier now. Yeah, you look fantastic. Thank you, and congratulations! Oh, Happy thank anniversary! You. Oh, thank you very much. Very yeah. exciting. We're entering our third season as well. Third season of the nanny. That's yeah, right. Congratulations! Yeah. Thank you. Very cool. Very nice. You know, I uh, in in uh, just to commemorate this mm -hmm. special occasion, I thought that I I brought a, a joke with me. A joke. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'll tell uh -huh. it to you, okay? Uh, yeah, great. All right. Um, there's this uh, woman who goes to the diet doctor, and she says, Doc, I'm going to lose weight. I don't know how to lose weight. So he says, I've got the perfect diet for you. You can eat whatever you want. The only thing is you have to feed yourself through your tush. So she says, uh, <laughs> you know, okay, look, I'm willing to try anything. And she goes away. And wait, I have to stand up. She goes away, and then she comes back, and uh, she's really skinny, like a couple of months later. Mm -hmm. And she says to the doctor, she's standing there like this, and she says to the doctor, Doc, you know, I, I love this diet. Look how svelte I am, and I eat whatever I want, and it's a perfect diet. So he says, well, I'm thrilled, but why are you rocking like this? She says, I'm chewing gum. <laughs> I think every interview should start with a joke. It should be a required thing. I was saving that just for you. Oh, thank you very much. That was very nice. Well, listen, I understand congratulations are in order for something else. You got a part in a Francis Ford, Ford Coppola, Coppola movie. movie. Yeah, that is a big deal. called Jack with Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be great. You want to hear something funny? Thank you. It's really exciting. I mean, you know, Francis Ford Coppola. I'm a TV star. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I get this call to go on this audition out of the blue. I had a terrible stomach flu, and my agent says, you've got to take this meeting. He's only in town for one day. And it's like, oh, all right. I drag my ass out of bed. I put on makeup. I get dressed. I go down. It, he wanted to meet me for cocktails at this Italian restaurant in mm -hmm. L.A. So um, I walk in, and I see him sitting there. But who is he talking to but uh, Cindy Crawford? So I, I immediately say, wow, Cindy Crawford, you know, the supermodel. I finally get to meet her. And she gives me a big hug. She says, Fran Drescher, the nanny. She turns out she's like a fan of mine, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're hugging, we're talking, we're kibitzing. And Francis, who's like trying to get a word in edgewise, is saying, uh, do you girls know each other? And we said, no. We, n we never met each other before. Mm -hmm. So we're like talking to each other, and then I'm thinking, okay, it's time to give Francis a little attention. So he starts talking about, you know, <laughs> this winery that he That's bought. That's very big Tampa of you to give him a... <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Cindy Crawford, uh -huh. I I'm thinking, you know, should I ask her about Richard Gere? And he's trying to <laughs> talk about... Are you <laughs> thinking this out loud? Yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. running through my head. And, yeah. and he's talking about, some, you know, his vineyard in Napa Valley, and I find myself, I keep going, looking at her and thinking, Thinking what a flawless complexion she has, how mm -hmm. old is she? And my lady <laughs> said, okay, I gotta go, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and left. Apparently, you know, he was meeting people that he wanted to meet, and some people that he thought would be right for the movie, and I fell into that latter category. So I said to him, Francis, how did I get this meeting? Because I'm going to be starring in my own film uh, for Disney, who's mm -hmm. doing this film in the spring. So I'm thinking, did it come from Disney? And he said, no, and I didn't even know about that. And I said, did it come from Robin? Because, you know, we were in Cadillac Man together. And he says, no, I didn't know about that. I didn't know who you were. Never seen you before. Never watched TV. Don't know anything about it. So already this is like bordering on insulting. But I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I said, then what? He said, I'm on the road, I'm at a hotel, flipped on the TV, caught your act on Conan O'Brien. Oh, very cool. Wow. There you go. You are us. I know. 
We're getting you work. I totally owe you. I'm gonna, you know, I mean, I said right away, the next day I called my publicist and I said, book me on Conan. I owe him. <laughs> I'll give I you the on the bleep that thing so loud and so long no that there'll be no segment left. <laughs> that bleep is going to extend both ways. Really, they're two very simple words. <laughs> they're going to, they're not just going to bleep it. They're going to cut away to like an old Laurel and Hardy uh -huh. film. Oh, you know, you have some other anecdotes here. I don't think we can really get to them now. <laughs> Nothing's gonna top that. No, I am. Uh, and besides, was... I'm anxious to get on with the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the nanny is Mondays at eight o'clock p.m. on CBS, as everyone knows. When's this big film coming out? Do you know? I imagine it'll probably be out in this in the late spring or summer. It's gonna be a wonderful film, and I'm very excited to be a part of it. Is my segment over? Because <laughs> I was gonna yes. tell you. Oh, okay. your, your segment is over. Yeah. What, 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 what else are you gonna say? Well, I just want to tell you a cute story that happened to me. I was, I was visiting, you know, my relatives this past summer, and I saw, and I, I, I spent a lot of time with my little niece mm -hmm. who uh, is getting potty trained. And I was schlepping up through the mall, and we ended up at the Sears, like home improvement department. Uh -huh. And I turn around, and the next thing, when I look, my little niece is sitting on one of the display toilets, taking. Oh. <laughs> Fran! 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 Well, you're not on cable yet. You're right, the FCC has a whispering rule. You can say anything if you whisper it. Really? All right, well, you were like, I, I gotta get this last quaint little story in before we go. Well, <laughs> it's always great seeing you. <laughs> very nice to see you. Uh, everybody, Fran Drescher, thank you very much for coming on this show.